Since 2018, the Catholic Church in Australia has been preparing for a plenary council, grappling with issues of concern to modern Catholics, including controversial themes such as homosexuality, the ordination of women, and mandatory celibacy. Some have felt this is going in the wrong direction or going off the rails. Um, there have been voices of cynicism right from the start. In a similar vein, when German Catholics raised those issues in their synodal path, some observers wondered if a schism was on the horizon. We have a different history from uh, Germany, dare I say. And um, the other thing is, of course, the, the fact of geography. We're a long way away and we don't figure terribly much on the, uh, the radar screen of the Church Universal. We're small and distant and, um, and young. While the process began three years ago, the Plenary Council's first assembly will be in October. Archbishop Coleridge said he is convinced that the Holy Spirit can work through the process like he believes happened at the World Synod of Bishops on the Family in 2015. I think I saw the Holy Spirit at work in that Synod in 2015. It was messy. There were moments when you thought this has gone off the rails, but it somehow came together in the most surprising way. Now, our journey has also been at times very messy. If I'm hoping for anything, it is that. Something that enables us, as I say, to transcend the predictable uh, conflicts, the clashes of interpretation, the ideological antagonisms, and, and, and moves to um, uh, see visions and dream dreams that we haven't done before, forms of leadership that we haven't seen in the church before, uh, for, forms of, um, uh, of structuring ourselves and devising strategies that we haven't seen before, uh, not just regurgitating the same old tired stuff.